Let's take a look at how to make a pivot table showing project completion rate by each project manager. First, you select your data and then click on data and pivot table. Choose whether you want it to go on a new sheet or in an existing sheet in your project and click create. And you'll see a new tab added to the bottom and your rows, columns, and values. Over on the right hand side is the pivot table editor. When you're creating a pivot table, always start with the rows. What values or words from the main data do you want to show on column A, for example? So under rows, click on add for row, and we're going to choose project manager. And this is going to show us each unique project manager name in column A. Next, let's go to values, and we want to look at their average project completion rate. So next to values, we'll click add and project completion. Now these numbers here are funky looking. We don't want to sum up, we want to average. So we'll click on summarize by, choose the drop down. Instead of sum, we'll click average, and now we'll see the average there. And if I want to, I can expand the columns in my chart to see the full headings there. Let's go one step further and divide this out by when the project is due. We're going to do that by adding a column. We'll go to columns, click add, and choose the date. Now this information here is a little bit useless because it's not summarized. It's giving us every single date in the chart. So one of the tools you can use with pivot tables when you have a row or a column, you can right click on one of those values and choose create a group. When there's dates, you can use an automatic grouping. So for example, I can choose to group these by the year. And automatically, it's going to summarize this data to show me the average completion rates for projects due in each year. I could choose other ways to group these. I could do it by a year and a quarter. And you can see there's a lot of different ways I can look at this information to see really useful overalls. One of the other things I can do to refine this pivot table is get rid of this empty value here. There's some empty rows in my data, so I want to filter those out. At the very bottom of the pivot table editor under filters, I'm going to click on add and I want to choose one of the columns that has a value for the things I want. I'm going to choose date and then instead of showing all items, I'll click on that and I'm going to do filter by condition. I'm going to click on the none and I'm going to say is not empty. So I only want to see values where the date is not empty. Click on OK and now my information is only showing the actual values I have each project manager and the average project completion for the two years.